In this question, we're given a diagram to represent the shape of a part, which is a rectangle. And we're given algebraic expressions to represent the length and the width of the rectangle. We're also given a formula for the perimeter of the park, and then we have to determine the equation of the perimeter. So let's start by putting down the formula for the perimeter of the rectangle, or the park. So perimeter is equal to twice the length plus twice the width. Now we know that the length is going to be 5x, and the width is going to be 3x plus 7. So let's put those values in. So we'll put twice the length, which is 5x, plus twice the width, which is 3x plus 7. So what we do is we then simplify this um, equation as much as we can. So we can multiply 2 by 5x, and that would give us 10x. And then we can multiply the 2 across the brackets, and we would get 6x plus 14. Next, we collect like terms. So 10x and 6x are like terms. So what we end up with here is 16x plus 14. So there we have a simplified uh, equation of the perimeter that they ask for. So we can write that in. The perimeter would be 16x plus 14. Now we go to the next part. We're told that the perimeter is equal to 350 meters. Well, what we can do then is substitute 350 in for P. So what we would get would be 350 would equal this equation, 16x plus 14. To find the unknown variable x, we solve this equation. So the first thing to do is to isolate the x term. So we're going to subtract 14 from this side and also then on the other side. So this would give us 336 equals 16x, because here these 14s would cancel out. Next then we would divide both sides by 16. And here the 16s would cancel, leaving us with x, and then all we have to do is figure out what 336 divided by 16 is. So let's just go over here and do some long division. So 16 into 336, 16 into 33 goes twice, which would be 32. Bring down the 1, bring down the 6. So 16 into 16 goes once. Therefore, we know that x is equal to 21. Now what we have to do is make sure we answer the question. They're asking us to determine the length of the park. So we know that length is given by the expression 5x. So we can say that length equals 5x, and then we can substitute our value for x into this equation. So x is 21. We'll stick it in here. So length is equal to 5 times 21, and 5 times 21 will be 105. So we can answer the question. The length of the park is 105, and of course we know the unit here would be meters, because we're dealing with... Um, the perimeter being in meters here, so we make sure the, mat the units match up. Now we could stop there, but what we should probably do is verify that we know we have the right answer. For example, we know also that if the length is 5x, we know that the width is equal to 3x plus 7. So let's write that down. The width is equal to 3x plus 7. We'll substitute x in here, so width is equal to 3 times 21 plus 7. So this gives us 63 plus 7. So the width would be 70 meters. So let's go to our diagram. We know that the width here is going to be 70 meters then, and therefore this width here would also be 70 meters. We know that because the, these markings here indicate that these are the same length. So we can put 70 meters here, 70 meters here, and similarly we know that the length, which is this part here and this part here, they're going to be the same based on these markings, will be 105 meters. So we can put that in. So this would be 105, and this would be 105. So a perimeter means to add up all the sides of the rectangle. So 
105 plus 70 would be 175. And then another 105 plus 70, another uh, 175 would add up to the 350. So we know, pretty sure, that we've got the right answer here. And there we go.